Hi there. My name is Catherine Lucas. I'm the founder of Farmhouse Culture. We're a Santa Cruz-based uh, company that make raw, organic, new world krauts and kimchi. I get asked all the time, how did a nice girl like you get mixed up with sauerkraut? And I guess it was really fate. I'm a California girl who, through love, ended up in Stuttgart, Germany. And it was there that I had this sort of culinary awakening. I learned about eating locally and seasonally. I learned how to cook. I had a restaurant there. And I tasted fresh kraut from the barrel for the first time. And it was a revelation. It tasted nothing like the stuff that I grew up with. Uh, it was tart and crunchy and not too sour, not too, not too salty. And I brought what I learned in Europe um, uh, about local and seasonal cooking home with me to California, where I embarked on a culinary walkabout. I took cooking classes around the world. I studied and I wrote about traditional foods. I had a local foods column, and I became involved in slow food. Um, I also attended a natural food culinary program where I learned how to uh, make sauerkraut. And I was fascinated. Um, I, I, ban I uh, began experimenting with local ingredients, and all paths really seemed to be pointing to this idea of regional sauerkrauts. And it was also around this time, early 2008, sauerkraut seemed particularly ripe for revival. Here was this great culinary treasure and had been practically lost to industrialization. Uh, we'd been eating this stuff for like 10,000 years, and then we started pasteurizing it, not because it made it better or safer, um, it was because it made it easier to store and to distribute. But it made it soggy and it lost a lot of its nutritional value, if not all of it. It was also around this time that I discovered that Slow Foods Arc of Taste listed sauerkraut as a food in danger of extinction. And they didn't mean the lifeless, soggy can kraut full of nitrates. They meant old-fashioned, traditional kraut. They meant raw, unpasteurized kraut, the kind that's full of uh, beneficial probiotic bacteria, vitamins, and minerals, the kind that tastes good. Inspired, inspired, I began my next journey. I started selling my krauts at, at a local farmer's market and through a friend's CSA, but it was really Slow Food Nation that gave me the courage to go for it. Um, it was there that we handed out 8,000 samples and sold 1,000 pounds of our smoked jalapeno sauerkraut. Um, when the San Francisco um, Chronicles food editor said it was the best thing she tasted at the event, I knew I was on to something. Um, from there, it's really taken off. Um, I also want to mention that in 2009, I met Woody Tash, I read his book, and I mailed it to a bunch of friends and family. His book gave me the courage to ask them for the initial capital I needed to get the business going, and it worked. <laughs> We now sell uh, several types of fresh krauts at seven farmers markets out of the barrel, um, uh, at seven farmers markets weekly in about 250 stores uh, throughout the country. Um, you've probably noticed that a fermentation revival is really underway, and farmhouse culture has been a really big part of that uh, revival by working closely with local farmers to create regional flavor profiles that people can connect with. Um, uh, our, our food tastes really good. Our smoked jalapeno, horseradish leek, garlic dill, pickle, um, ginger beet, apple fennel, cauliflower curry. Crazy, right? These are really great flavors. Um, people like them. We make really good krauts. Location uh, we are just in one of the best places to make fermented foods. 99% uh, of our ingredients are sourced 20 miles from our kitchen, um, pretty much year-round. Um, we've, got, we've got plenty of sea salt out the front door and the ideal climate for fermenting um, pretty much without having to do much. Um, we're also the first kraut company in the United States to introduce what will likely become standard packaging for live fermented foods. It's a pouch that allows for off-gassing, and this move has already reduced our already significantly low um, uh, carbon footprint by two-thirds. Um, um, I knew that a great product uh, could only take the company so far, so in addition to capital, I'd need an experienced and passionate team. And last year, luckily, an angel showed up. Her name's Carol Olson. Hi, Carol. Um, she is a reformed Silicon Valley capitalist, and um, she's putting her knowledge and her resources to work for farmhouse culture. Uh, John Scharfenberger, 
also um, uh, came on board last year as an investor of Scharfenberger Chocolates as an investor uh, and advisor. Um, future growth, I'm running a little behind here. You saw we've got um, great growth. Um, and together, along with 20 of the best employees you can imagine, uh, we're growing a slow food company with a bright future. Uh, we believe it's possible to provide access to good, clean, fair, to, um, good, clean, fair food to everybody. Um, but we need your help in order to reach that goal. Um, uh, fin uh, we're looking to, um, well, let me just make it really simple. Um, we're looking for financial, intellectual, and social capital. Everything's welcome. In short, we're looking for fiduciaries. <laughs> Thank you.